Oi Brinty, how are you dear? Pretty much scared after I saw your plump face on Instagram Edge. Oh look who's talking, Miss Unkempt Jump Scare. Oh good idea, let me add this to my next caption with hundreds of Apple images. Can't believe you're almost 42 and acting like this. Oh Hune, dad is the real me Hune. Why though? You're in your 40s for the love of God. At your age I was getting every mangina sweaty by just curling my hair. Meanwhile, there you are, twirling on camera like a clueless bugged sim who's stuck on a loop changing its clothes. Why? I'm not a girl not yet a grandma yet but hey I don't care already. Oh yeah I've seen you pole dancing, I believe you. Hey be nice, I invited you to my wedding. Why are you acting like a manager? Don't you remember the court of gags lifted your conservatorship after I agreed to help you decompress yourself? Kinda regretting this now tbh but my mind was somewhere else near a handsome and very young black man. I don't know where is this going. Your constant blabbering during this evident midlife crisis is damn tiring. I'd rather ride gag's nose while getting spanked with a clamstick. I still have to make sure me don'sters don't throw shit on stage at the celebration tour so I can outlast the new generation of flops in one piece. I even hired the lesbo to build a wall and keep them out of my crendom. If you don't change your cha-cha right now I'll pull a quint Lizzie and dip and charge you for the funeral. Alright alright calm down you got me angry and anxious and now I feel like throwing unprovoked shade at Selena again. What's with the Hispanic? I don't want to talk about it. Why don't we just have a piss up at my house then? K. Whoa. Where she go? 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 Why she do? 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 Can't help but I feel like I've heard it already. I don't feel evoke. Ah, there you are. Brenda, are you there? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Weskers. I think you're V funny. OMG, I better call for help. Think, Brinty, think. God. Alrighty. Hello, nurse. We need you at Metaner's house quick. I'm um, Brinty. That was years ago. I'm busy being a mummy now. Who? How's that and familiar? Neki, please, you need to come over. Metaner passed out and I can't call Miria because we demolished her hospital in the last episode. Well, I guess a second Pink Friday era is upon us. Oh, Neki, you're a life savior. Please get me some stirbogs and a hoppy meal on your way. Me want Fanta Fanta no cut. Actually, Brindy, I have had it with your bullshit. If a bitch don't invite me to her wedding, I'll cut the bitch. I'll cut up the bitch. I'll gut the bitch. What exactly am I supposed to do, Dan? Call Miria Ursleff. I don't care, if you have to trick her by pretending to be a flop bitch faded into obscurity. Red Ruby out. Do you really think I would believe you're... Kisha, who even is that? You can't even do any impressions besides Woody Woodpecker. Whatever. Please help Metiner. She's upstairs feeling sicker than the remix. Gonna migrate upstairs then. What a day. Oh hey thanks again for helping me leave my conservator shit. Hey Brinty I heard Madge is dead so I brought her some flowers. Well they ran out of flowers in the shop so here's my CD with bonus rants on my ex-boyfriend. And also featuring the smash hit, Flowers. Metaner's not dead. She's just- Oh. What am I? A maid or something? Hi, I want better early demos and slash or someone to buy my new horse lavatory's makeup. I get that as a no. Hey Godney, why don't you find some room to twirl for a while? Wait, what the fuck is that? I see that much like the last three years of your career, you also mismanaged this interaction. Get your monstrous nose out of my way and learn from that cultic Wendy. My not so sincere condolences, always hoped it would happen in the last decade. 
My loyal beehives have informed me of the very comforting news on Medina's timely demise. But Medina is alive. Resting in peace. She's still breathing. Deceased. But Medina. Devoid of life. But Bayan's Majesty. We shall celebrate this unfortunate turn of surprising events with the feast. I'm sure my Rani Sun's world tour budget can provide some ketchup sachets for this occasion. For fuck's sake, Bayan's Maj didn't die. Considering your latest social media efforts, I'm struggling to believe you or treat you seriously. As ever. You have a lot of fucking nerve speaking to me like this after you put me in a conservatorship for years. How fucking dare you? Fuck you. Fuck fuck fuck. If you see fucks in my next Instagram caption be sure it's about you. Calm down Mousakatia. If I wanted to milk your career you would've been one skinny cow. Like Miria in her heavily photoshopped tablum covers. Perhaps that behavior is better suited for the Daily Mail readers who already ruthlessly grill you in the comments. Don't get me started. Krillendria is already planting a bomb in your house for this felony you little shit. My sugar is raw, sticky and sweat. My sugar is raw, sticky and sweat. My pussy is wet, sticky and sweat. Met on your turn that shit down already. I am heavily sorry for having offended thee. And it gets worse. Metaner Metaner someone spread a nasty rumor and now everyone thinks you're dead. Bullshit. I'm fine already, just needed a jade bomb and a pinch of andronochrome. Thanks Maria. So what do we do about the crowd? Excuse me. Oh I keep it away from me. I May she was a slice, I know I miss her laugh. My dear gay fans, I reductively appreciate you're here but the queen of pop is clearly not dead as you can see. Yeah right, that is a skeleton if I've ever seen one. Don't listen to this ghost it's probably I. Arty arty. Who are you and why are you dressing up as a dead person? Bollocks. Never mind, they will get over it. Honey, they already did. Your fake death finally brought you the attention you haven't had for years. Well thanks Meza, how about you go choke on Santa's white Terry cock for another number one song? What's up with the NHS and their bitchy employees nowadays? So it's just three of us girls locked in here. Wanna have a slumber party and record quirky interludes for Oops 2.0? Forget it, I'm out of here. She's clearly unstable, as you can see. And if I were you I'd be calling the liar instead of worrying about dinner. Liar? Why would I want to call my sister haha? -ha? Don't you read the news darling? It's all about your divorce. No I don't. Why do you they all tend to be toxic? Toxic gossip train? What in fresh hell is she talking about? Nobody in the world knows. Ignore her doctor she drinks. Well either way darling, good luck with your divorce. I should know. It's better to be the press conference rather than the conversation. What divorce is this hag talking about? If you didn't keep interrupting my fucking monologue you would've heard it from me first. Your ex-man and I will see you in court sweaty. Oh yay. Another bunch of countless court meetings. I'm fucking thrilled. Christ. Go get me a truckload of vodka. As long as I can still slap my titties, we'll win this printy.